Hey guys, thank you for tuning in so much. I appreciate your presence here. Uh, Post editing Godman here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up. The giveaway is on. It's hidden. It's only going to show up for a second. So keep your eyes peeled and you might be a lucky winner. With that being said, let's hop into it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So good to see you all. Today, we're going to be doing a teapot showcase. I'm going to be showing off my silken courtyard teapot, which has about 32,000, if I'm not mistaken, uh, credentials. And in my opinion, it's probably one of the funnest teapots I've personally experienced. Has lots of fun little mini games, and we're all going to experience it together. I'm going to be bringing along one of my friends so they can enjoy it along with us. And we're going to be going through and kind of showcasing it together. So with that said, without further ado, this is what my teapot credentials look like. We'll be doing the silken courtyard, as said. Um, and let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is my personal, um, I guess you could say favorite maze that I've put together and created myself. Homegrown, took a nice long time to get this all together to get all the materials for the, um, for the actual maze parts. And uh, I'm just really, really proud of it. So here we are. Timer's been started. I'm going to be running atop the maze, kind of keeping an eye, a watchful eye, eagle eye, however you want to call it, as uh, said friend goes through the, um, the maze. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to start tracking them. So let's see where they go. So it looks like right now they're proceeding no problem. Everything's going well. Nice tight squeeze. Just a little bit of a prelude to show you what's coming next. Even tighter squeeze, so much so to the point where I can't even see through it. Almost climbed up to the top. That would have been a big no-no. Uh, ooh, first in there. Ooh, okay, goes the right way. Ooh, almost took the wrong way. That little would have taken them right back to the beginning. So good call there. Looks like they're proceeding forward without any issues. Got a scarecrow off to the right. Realizes it, keeps moving. Ooh, we got some obstacles. Ooh, a nice little Paimon, uh, Paimon painting. <laughs> How adorable. All right, they keep proceeding, keep proceeding. Oop, Scarecrow, that's not the way. <laughs> uh, all right, they're going to keep on running down, keep on running down. Nice little statue. We'll just keep it moving here. Nothing to see. Onward and upward. I like how they're not sprinting. I like how they're proceeding, not at a walk, but at a jog, just making sure they take in the sights and sounds. So just when you think you've reached the end and you get this nice little mural, nope, sorry, got to come down and give them a little, little help here because this is the actual ending. So yay! They finally completed it. Congratulations. So now I'm going to kind of narrate over this. I said, nice, you did it. Honestly, I thought I was lost. F uh, first try, too. Nah, that was great. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty good at mazes when I'm not inside of them. I can tell. Okay, let's go for a stroll. So now I'm going to be taking them kind of over to my forest area. Again, everything in my teapot, fun fact, I've actually... Everything that I have or I own, I've created at least three minimum copies of it just because it was my own personal like achievement that I wanted to, uh, I guess for lack of a better term, achieve where uh, that was really nice watching them glide through the air, multicolored forest, really, really like this area. It's so calm, just peaceful, just absolutely love it. Anyways, it was one of my personal achievements that I wanted every single item that I owned. I wanted three copies of it, so I never ran out of items or materials for any specific situation. So I asked them, are they enjoying the views? And they say, it's a nice teapot. And I go, <laughs> kind of like a nice little chuckle or laugh. That's what that little icon is. Um, so now I say, thank you. Okay, this is Game Island. This is where all of my fun little games are going to be located. So we're taking the elevator up, and uh, they got Venti luckily, so they'll be coming right on over with Venti, and I'm going to kind of introduce them to the balloon shooting game. One of my personal favorites, you get to rearrange exactly where you want to put the balloons um, in terms of how high and how far. So I could have one all the way to the left, one section all the way to the right, or I could put them right on top of each other. I opted for one, the lower one to be a little bit closer, and for the farther one to be a little bit higher. So I say uh, pretty good, not bad. They showed up four in my overall rankings, not terrible. Um, they go for another try. I'm sure, you know, why not? Give it another shot. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch the full minute 30 that, that they ended up going for it. Um, so we'll just show a couple shots here, hitting their shots, doing a pretty good job. And uh, overall, last few seconds, they actually dealt like tied it it was 960 overall score and 26 hits so they literally did the exact same thing both times at the time i thought they had done slightly worse i didn't even realize it was the exact same high score 
Um, so this one, relatively simple. You just have to destroy all of the totems um, within the two second time frame they give you. If you're able to do it, it's considered completed. So without further ado, they give it a try, hit one, hit the other, they respond back, they realize pretty quickly, crap, what the heck? Well, I got Kazuha, placed myself in the middle, and boom, 100% successful, great job. Um, so I say, yay, great job, um, and they just kind of crack a nice little joke, just, uh, just gotta be smart, I guess. <laughs> so now we're gonna go check on my little fish over here, um, this is a nice little peaceful section as well, um, I love this part. Um, I've done the 2,000 achievement fishing uh, thing where you have to fish for at least 2,000 fish. I don't even know what I'm at now because I completed that in uh, Mondstadt and Liwa and Inazuma. So before Sumeru even came out, I had that completed. Uh, so now it's got to be 2,002, 3, 400. I've done a lot because I also got all the rewards for the uh, fishing pole and the um, weapon along with the weapon um, refinements from the Sumeru fishing post person that's out there wherever the heck they are anyways this game is one of my personal favorites um, you are allowed to put the penguin statues anywhere you want as high as you want to so you could literally have it so you can't even reach it with a normal jump and you'd have to go up like on a mountain or something obviously to keep it simple and not too complex I just put them just out of range until, unless you're able to jump for it and then just kind of like in a square formation around it so overall once they did their run they ended with let's see 56 points not terrible obviously they were, they were new to the game didn't know the uh, orientation so they were feeling a little bit you know <laughs> not too great about themselves and i was like oh no no i'll give it a shot just for fun you know i'll show you how it's done um because it was a little bit funny when they were trying to jump up for the ones just out of reach two three four times missing them um so i said hey let me hop in let me show you how it's done so of course i've got a taller character that's one advantage too but i've done this plenty of times now so i've got a pretty good handle on it so there we are i'm showing them how you reach those jump ones i didn't miss there but i was quick to recover boom 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 getting all these bad boys nice and quick skip to the end and i'm already at 161 162 163 164 165 166 let's see what we end up with 168 oh so 168 versus there i don't even remember but yeah def did pretty well obviously but i i also am the creator of the game um that's why they're like i'm definitely you know what this game i'm nowhere near as good as you are it's like no nah, i don't even worry about it. it takes practice you know what i mean i created the game so i have an unfair advantage and i have a tall character i didn't even mention that part so, all right, so now over to uh, to get some R and R. I always like to it in the time just after sunset. The moon comes out, and it's a super beautiful sight. This is one of the most relaxing areas that I come and just enjoy the sight. Absolutely love it. This is amazing, beautiful sight, um, and it's just it's just one of my favorites. So now after we go over to my final island. We go through my crystal fly, crystal fly field. Now we get to enjoy a beautiful sunset. Fun fact about the sunset: if you are at the, if you are too close to the sunset, like those peaks on the left and right over there, those birds that you see flying through don't actually show up. It's just the sun, so it's not as a good view as this is right here. And when I use this Ayato burst, oh my god, how how it dimmed, how it created almost what looked like a field that you could walk on, uh, you know, like an uh, invisible field you can walk on. Uh, the flowers, the raindrops, I mean, it absolutely made it eloquently exquisite it was beautiful um so then i asked them would you like to see my home which of course they say yes because like <laughs> you know this teapot's been pretty good so far so now i'm showcasing kind of my couch arena my sofa arena where this bad boy this little doggo right here we like to um spar sometime and sometimes we get a little bit out of hand because once i start getting crazy the whole house starts shaking as shown right here we start having a good old time and the house just starts literally going wild. Doggo can't even keep up and he flops right on over. Pretty funny, pretty cute. I absolutely love it. Um, so with that being said, we're just kind of chilling, relaxing, looking at what's going on here. And then I kind of wanted to show them like kind of what I did up here with my uh, fireplace and uh, the pictures and a few of the, the things that I put up here. And this part was absolutely hilarious. It looks like they get stuck and they're all of a sudden floating in midair for a few moments. When they finally come to, I, I've had to fast forward it because it's hilarious. I show them how to get up here a couple of times. They are just absolutely missing it, having no luck at all. And it was just, <laughs> they kept getting stuck. It was absolutely putting just a smile on my face. I swear it's hilarious. So <laughs> eventually they give up and I'm like, it's okay. You don't have to go up there nowhere. 
worries, um, which I think they at one point decide, no, I need to make sure I'm going to get up there. I'm going to do it. And then they actually do it, which is it's coming up relatively soon, um, which I think this is it right here. Boom, boom. Yeah, let's go. So you made it up. Woohoo! So we do a little celebration. Yes. You know, with some exclamation points, they say, I did it. And uh, obviously, I say great job because, you know, <laughs> that was definitely some work. Uh, so now we're just messing around, having a good time. They're on my couch. They say, ha ha, trying to play, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'm like, oh, heck no. They're like, just try to stop me. So yeah, we're just having some fun, you know. So while this kind of just plays in the background, we'll just kind of talk about Genshin Impact and the 3.2 update as we were talking about. Um, 3.2 updates bring in some teapot optimization where it's going to allow us to replicate teapots from my understanding. I think that's kind of awesome. So yeah, we're just messing around. They're trying to shoot. The dog looks like I'm like, haha, shoot me, shoot me. Which honestly, that was a great shot because I ran in front of that dog as they shot it. Definitely would have hit me. Um, if I if there was a team damage, I would have definitely taken damage. So now I'm pretending to attack them. They're attacking me. I dodge. Nice little quick attack. Dodge again. And now they're interested to go check out another part of the room. Anyways, before I get off a of track and I'm going to, you know, lose my train of thought here. Uh, what I was saying about 3.2, the replication system sounds kind of fun because it sounds like you can take a carbon copy of other people's teapots and make it your own. I, I'm not 100% on it. I mean, the update just was yesterday or the day before. I think it was only one or two days ago. Um, so now we're doing a nice little, you know, opera showcase here, which I thought putting Yunjin in would be perfect because we all know elegance and shows are her kind of thing. Man, I keep getting sidetracked. As I was saying, long story short, I think that the optimization to the teapot where you can kind of replicate other people's teapot with their permission is amazing if you guys like what you're seeing what i'm doing in my teapot my teapot obviously isn't the best teapot in the world but i think it's it's fully furnished it's got lots of good aspects to it lots of fun things from like we said a game island to a beautiful forest to a maze um just to some mountain ranges where you can kind of view the sunset you can view the moon the moon <laughs> um right here uh my friend neko was doing uh um nice little music for me and uh honestly i thought it was pretty cool because i'm not nearly as skilled on the liar as uh said person so really really cool nice performance so i obviously give them their kudos and i tell them hey that was really really nice and uh i really really enjoyed that um obviously now i'm like you know tempted to jump jump in here and do what i can do so i just do the little bit of tune that i know how to do which is obviously not much um so i just kind of play my strings throw it out there whatever i can do whatever i can't do blah 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 you know do 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 nice little music yep yep so uh, <laughs> uh man almost a little bit embarrassing <laughs> um anyways you know eventually i'm gonna stop you okay so they say that it's not that bad honestly i was just near the end i was definitely just pressing buttons um i actually fun fact again did create my very own song um with the original liar but i did lose that paper unfortunately and i had all of the um the lyrics now this right here i was just i was just screwing around effing around and um i started playing the drum and i realized this kind of sounds like crap so i stopped real quick and then i was just like i'm sorry i'm laughing too hard because as i was doing it in person it sounded like trash <laughs> and i was like oh man the drum just sounded so pathetic and they were like yeah it kind of did uh this right here is supposed to be a musical chairs room where it's like you guys walk around the chairs there's only three so it's a four person game obviously and then obviously that one person who doesn't get a chair um you can play tag within the house hide and go seek whatever so this is my staircase we just went through now we're going into the bedroom this is a work in progress honestly i was just throwing stuff out to kind of raise my overall credential for this specific silken courtyard um that's why i was saying it's in the construction now this <laughs> this fool is jumping on the bed neko is always doing something mischievous um so i had to obviously show a little bit of uh uh displease or displeasure with that so switched over to riding because things are getting a little out of control with this archon so you know we got to get mama archon out here to kind of things keep things under control i tell him uh don't make this person mad uh, i'm watching you um, they go running away and, uh, obviously, you know, Raiden's had enough. So she's bringing out her, uh, ultimate here and we're going to end things real quick. Um, so when we walked into this room, my fish are supposed to be located in the fish tank. I'm not really sure what the heck happened here, but they were literally floating in the corners all like in timeout. Um, so it only holds three. 
um and it was kind of weird but i was just like eh, whatever it's just a little thing so just to kind of like cap off the whole experience um i created my very own firework you know from the last event i don't even remember where it was from but uh somewhat recently like in the last six months or so to a year somewhere in that range um and i created my own firework show because you know why not it's pretty cool um so i had everything from mora to just a random like tall freaking red explosion there the heart um the bear the slime because these are all things that were allowed there they didn't, they didn't give you too much of an option i think there was like seven eight nine maybe ten different items and these are the ones that i thought looked the best um, you can also adjust how high it launches in the air, um, like that red one goes really high, then the other ones have default setting, which is why they go uh, they go there, and not any higher. I think you might be able to lower it too, um, but overall, I haven't messed with this in a while. This is what I had it set as, and I thought it was absolutely beautiful, and it'd be a fun, cool little way to top off seeing my uh, my teapot and experiencing it with all of you, along with, uh, with Neko. Um, so yeah, everything is going good. Uh, that, you know, fireworks show is still still going off. Um, from the Zhao event that was in the beginning of the game, I don't even know, like 1.345, somewhere in the beginning of the game, um, I actually stocked up and saved 400 Zhao lanterns. So I started popping them off while the fireworks were going, and I was like, well, this is kind of cool. So I decided to kind of go ham, throw <laughs> quite a few out, and, you know, trick a finger on point right here. Um, and I had like 50 almost out, and with the fireworks, it looks absolutely beautiful and Neko obviously agrees because they're saying it's so pretty so I thought that this was awesome you know just kind of a nice little thing once in a lifetime type of type of show here um, all right so that's kind of that so now we're gonna kind of uh, move over to you know the end of this and then all of a sudden uh oh a uh, rainstorm and uh, it's not looking too good it's looking kind of you know yikes so uh, I decided to jump off because I always want to jump off from high points why not it's fun um, save myself with the, uh, the plunge right here. Um, start swimming towards the shore, running along the shore. Oh, oh, lightning. Oh, it's getting real dangerous out here. Uh oh, more lightning. So yeah, pretty much every cut now. <sighs> more lightning. Oh God, we got to get to safety. We, we better run. Oh God, lightning. Oh my God. It's not, oh God, it's not good. It is getting bad. Oh God, there's one, there's two. Come on, come on, come on. We're doing the sprint jump. We're doing the sprint. Oh God, that's three in a row. They are trying to get me. So yeah, long story short, um, now we're at safety. You know, this is where we can't get hit by the elements. Of course, as I say that, there's lightning and thunder all over the place. Um, but that was kind of that, you know, to kind of top this all off, I throw out the nice little, you know, popper thing that I got going on here just to kind of throw a nice little bow on everything that we've done thus far. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in for this uh, teapot showcase. Let me know if you like the teapot and if you'd be interested in kind of getting it once 3.2 drops so you can get a nice little replication of it and have fun with it in your world. And yes, if you were wondering, I did put the code somewhere in this video only for a single second though. So unfortunately, if you didn't see it and you've gotten to this point, this is the end of the video, so you will have to go back and look for it. I promise you it's in there, first come, first serve. If you do end up being the lucky winner, please uh, like, obviously, and subscribe. That's the only ask I have. Um, and even throw a comment in there just saying you got it so I know who won. Uh, with that being said, congratulations to that lucky winner. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll get you guys in the next one at Astra Abisask.